All right, guys, this is a supplementary video for my Steam Guide. I do suggest that you check that out for the full details. In this run, we'll be only going for the Dragon Statue, but there will be a list of all the loot locations in the later part. You can also check out my other video for the all loot achievement and gameplay. So a few important things before we begin. The zip line is useless as Bex landing up at the top will eventually get spotted by the guard there. And spending pages in the alley is not worth it. So after the alarm box, we'll totally ignore the alley as well as the zip line and garbage truck as it. The auction area as well is only going to be visited once and it's pretty easy to sneak by, so no pages will be spent here. That brings us to the pager plan. This setup is the one that I'm most satisfied with in terms of the safety, the efficiency and the ease of execution. First, on the higher difficulties, there will be an interchangeable set of enemies. When a pair of chatting triads spawn in the alley, there will be an extra guard in the warehouse. The reverse is also true. When the triad pair spawns in the warehouse, an extra guard spawns in the alley. This is the one we'll want. So at the start of the heist, we'll check for the triad pair in the alley and restart if they do spawn there. With this setup, we'll be able to spend two pages to clear the basement landing and another two pages to clear out the warehouse. The cameras will still be alive, but they are more of an annoyance than a threat. Alternatively, if we are not going for all the loot, we can leave the front landing guard alive and distract him with the lever and take out the cameras instead. Well, this is most of the strategy already, so let's end with tips and tricks. The civilians in the streets are limited and will not respawn after we take them out, which is especially useful for an all loot run. Then here we have an odd trick, which is kind of a minor oversight by the developers. Tying any of the store civilians, except for the female Caucasian, will prevent the auctioneer from closing the door behind him. This results in some slight EXP loss, but saves time and is safer because we don't have to spend time lockpicking the door. And another odd trick is to shoot the storekeeper in the legs from the side with a non-shotgun weapon, which will cause a body to glitch into the floor, <laughs> saving us a body back. Uh, this is weird. And in the warehouse, there will be no cameras in the office area. This makes it a safe place to take down guards. Next is the loot shortcut since we are no longer using the zipline asset, we'll be using the warehouse windows. The third window from the warehouse entrance can be picked from the inside or we can open up the, uh, the rest of the windows using pre-planning or even break them since the alarms are already down. If we're breaking them, just make sure that uh, no guards are nearby and the civilians outside are taken down. And if we are using this window that is connected to the alley, the store side door must be left closed, otherwise the guard will be able to see the loot outside. Now that the windows are open, here's how we do the loot. The light bags can be directly thrown out of the window, while for the heavier bags, we'll have to first stand on the crates before doing a jump throw to get the bag out. I prefer the window that is connected to the alley because it is much easier to get the heavy bags out from here. Already covered in another video, uh, Dragon Heist is actually ECM rushable after the first keycard door, but this is a glitch. So fingers crossed it won't be patched, um, otherwise do try it before it is. Then the last trick is the keypad glitch from the classic Diamond Heist. After the last ECM ends, the keypad will automatically be re-enabled after a 30 seconds reboot without even the need for a keycard. Um, it's not really an important trick and results in some slight EXP loss, but well, it's fun to know. Alright, and that's all I have for you guys. Some useful images, a list of all the loot locations and one gameplay will be coming right up. So hang around and uh, take a look. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. You fool! This isn't even my final form!
time to plan. Those donkeys will go bosses if you have. No more time to sit about. We need to get this. Okay, you chops. Let's get to work. The information we have says the Triad is using this shop as a front. See if you can find a way down to the basement. And keep that door has an alarm. Find a way to turn it off. They're gonna come cracking hard on your asses if you keep killing civvies. Body bag case right here. Dead civilians don't make good hostages. that rolling shutter to get into the warehouse. Guard. Open Guard. it up a bit, yeah? Push the button by accident. It happens. in the viewing room. Distracting those 
Otherwise, Dongwa civvies will have given you some breathing room to move around. Have a look for the vault. Guard. <laughs> All clear here. There must be someone else on the channel. Calling me. What's up? Yeah, yeah, that, that's great. Uh, just a minute, please. Nothing on this end. Probably just someone on the line.
the wires in the Ovid panel by the gate. Find the corresponding colors in a wire box, then cut them. That gate needs an old manual key to open. Look around for a keychain or something. The number on that computer screen. Maybe that's the correct crate? Nice. That's definitely worth a pretty penny. Now you need to sneak it out of there without making the triad guys go bosses. to the van, yeah? Time to go! Completely under the radar. We're done. You can leave as soon as... That was a good run, friends. This Galfong fella seems like a reliable... 